Man, looking through childhood photos is so much fun. I used to look so different. Oh. How time flies. Hey, what did you used to look like? <laughs> Don't worry, this will be for your own good. We were all children once and because of that we looked different. You're telling me I used to look like this? Man, science did me dirty. During the early ages of a console's lifespan, their early days might have seen them being something of ill and ah and why. I'm always into the early days of a game's and console's lifespan. I'm talking betas, alphas, concept, and if there are anything like these baby pictures, I'm gonna get jealous because like I said again, science did me dirty. Now for older consoles, it's hard to determine what the early designs looked like. There isn't really any information on what these consoles might have looked like, but somehow we know what the Super Nintendo used to look like. At one point, it was gonna have the same color scheme as the Famicom and use a keyboard attachment to fit into that family computer slogan the Famicom ran with. But obviously, it wasn't needed. People played this thing for games, not for checking emails, so old design was out and the new design was in. It's very similar to what we have now, just except for colored buttons, we got red. But while Japan was making the console look like it bled for buttons, over here in the US, people thought the design had to be majorly different to draw in a crowd. Now, knowing the 90s, it was probably way cooler. Whoa. What the f*** is this? Thanks to the addition of Nintendo Power, we have these early screenshots of, well, an interesting design for the Super Nintendo. It looks like some kind of top loader, like kind of like the AVNES, but tell me, where the f*** do you put the cartridge in? And don't get me started on the purple fungus here. It's so thin, but looks nothing like what we got at all. But while we're on the topic of a Super Nintendo, we need to talk about this f***. Thing. It's basically common knowledge at this point that the Nintendo PlayStation existed. I mean, I keep it on all my milk jugs just so I don't forget. This is the earliest model of the PlayStation we know exists. Someone even realized they had it in their creepy attic and we gotta see a Super Nintendo be a Super Nintendo. But the PlayStation still went through more design changes. We have this black version of the PlayStation and the controller looks all f***y. I like how these all look very similar to the Super Nintendo controllers, but why the hell did they try to squeeze this many buttons on the controller? But speaking of f***y controllers, sometimes it's not the console that gets the most changes. Sometimes it's the controller that gets the 16 plastic surgeries within a month. Treated like a true celebrity, controllers always find their way to get small cosmetic surgeries during its early life. While the GameCube really never got too many changes in the design, the controller was a different story. They made the B button a bean and green. How dare they? I honestly don't hate the design, I just hate beans. But I can see where they were going with this. The color scheme is ripped right from the N64 with a new controller being purple and... I gotta say, it's pretty cool. I like the concept, but this B button doesn't look practical. I feel like I would keep accidentally pressing it because it just takes up a lot of space. The controller also looks much thinner, almost like a PS4 controller, and that's gross. Stop, eat a sandwich to gain some weight. But don't eat too much because we don't want you to gain too much weight and be nicknamed the Duke because damn, you're heavy as shit, Xbox! Xbox tends to be the laughing stock every other year, but they almost were their first year in. Nothing screams a good brand recognition by having your first console literally be an X. What, where the f do you plug the controllers into? Oh wait, I found this wormhole that connects to the console. We're good. This thing looks f***ing huge, and also, why chrome? Was this thing supposed to be from the future? I really want to know what the internals of this design looks like, because while it looks cool, it's not functional at all from wiring shit inside. I like the design that we did get, because it does reflect some of the early designs. You still got the X and the little jewel in the middle, and it's too big to fit anywhere. Kinda like my ex-wife. <laughs> you were never now remember when the Wii was functional because at one point it wasn't? So it turns out the Wii started off as a green GameCube and you know what they say about the color green, right? It's that it's the closest thing to the Wii. The sensor bar isn't working. The controller had to be plugged into the console at one point, but is this even the worst of it? I mean, there's also this thing. What is this? Is it the controller? Is it a console? I can't tell, it looks like a clay model, not any kind of electronic. The Wii always had an interesting development history. Like all of these controllers look wacky, but am I truly happy with what we ended up with? I mean, it could have been worse before the DS released and we almost got ah! The early DS design is somehow worse than the first DS we got. I don't know what it is about this design, but it just makes me want to puke in reverse. The black border around the screen makes them look way smaller than they need to be, and a rounded out D-pad? Why? The handhelds are always interesting, as Nintendo tends to make them a bit more f***y than usual. The 3DS was going to have a color circle pad, and have you seen the early prototype for the Game Boy Advance? It was going to be long like the previous models, but unlike those models, it was going to be ugly. I find it interesting that it was going to have four buttons at one point, but I can understand why they didn't do this. It complicates the controls for a portable console, and it can put off a lot of people from buying it. I'm looking at you.
Early Xbox 360 is kind of interesting, but let's be honest, all of these look very similar to the final design. There's nothing in any of these that really look like it would have changed the way the 360 would be. However, the PS3 is something that I would love to own. Look at this controller. It's so f***y. It's like the Sony executives looked at the boomerang controller from the N64 and said, yes, that's the f thing we need! I honestly think it's on brand for the PS3, you know, trying to be the future of everything. Would it have been comfortable, though? Now, at one point, the Wii U was gonna have circle pads, and for what f***ing reason? As a clamshell design, the 3DS's circle pad is honestly far better than it should have been. It works for the 3DS, but why would you ever think of putting this little circle on a real controller? You think that would ever work? Would this mean that the Wii U Pro controllers would also have the circle pads? Because, dear God, what I would do to see a tragedy like that. I'm kind of surprised no one has ever tried to mod a Wii U gamepad to look like this. I'm generally curious on how it'd feel in my little bitch hands with all its f***iness and all. But someone on Reddit did find a mod model that had this exact design, and it's way different than you think. Not only do you have the circle pads, but it's also way thinner and kind of much larger. Wow, looking at all my children's childhood features has been really fun. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Like, why did they ever look like this? I wonder what the newer consoles look like. The pages are burnt. So there's not that much information on the newer consoles, and that sucks. I want to make fun of the Xbox One more! But let's be honest, it's always more fun to look back on the consoles you grew up with and seeing all their growing pains. A part of me will always want to experience these older consoles, and hey, who knows, one day I might will, but until then, I'll just have an album to laugh at as I slowly go insane. Okay, but how did they burn just the ending of the book? I mean, the rest of the book is flammable from what I remember. Wait a minute. Controller looks all f***y. But speaking of f***y controllers, more f***y than usual. So f***y! Oh my god, the book is f***y. And with my childhood pictures being in here, by extension, that means I'm f***y. No!